Hello. So this is going to be the second part of our uh, crypto vocabulary, whatever we have started uh, uh, last week. And uh, so this would be at the you know mostly on the project or the rest of the parts, whatever uh, we have uh, missed out with. Okay. So um, uh, first thing first, let's go ahead with our. Uh, a project right so we call it as TGE that is a token generation event where uh, the particular projects token would be distributed among all the investors and uh, uh, and uh, it would be named as uh, um, as ICO initial initial coin offering uh, what we have seen in the 2017 time then uh, uh, IDO which is initial tax offering where uh, that your token your project token will be launched at a uh, named uh, decentralized uh, exchange and uh, you know IEO uh, which is initial exchange offering and uh, similarly there are IGO which is initial game offering then uh, something like uh, farming all those sort of things uh, you know evolve around that so after that there is uh, you know basically uh, in, uh, the tokens so basically it is a digital unit of a uh, cryptocurrency and uh, next one would be uh, tokenomics which is uh, the topic uh, of understanding the supply and uh, demand characteristics of uh, the uh, uh, cryptocurrency so um, uh, this is this is related to all those project specific again that uh, public address also come into picture which is set of uh, alpha numeric characters that refers to a location of a wallet where cryptocurrency can be sent so if you wanted to send to me so i'll be have one address that is public and uh, by using that address you can uh, send uh, the cryptos uh, uh, to my address so the market cap uh, we'll talk about a project uh, market tag ma market cap basically the moment when you are talking about a market cap so you are referring to like you know market uh, capitalization it is used to both to know what is the value of a certain cryptocurrency and to know the total value of uh, the you know complete of that of that project so uh, then uh, if, if, if you are telling something which is bullish that means it is positive market and similarly if you are talking about uh, bearish uh, that means it's a negative uh, market trends so now come to our uh, usual uh, part which is pretty pretty good whales uh, the moment when you heard about or if someone uh, tells you or someone calls you or someone if you are hearing like whales that means it is uh, said to be he the those users who owns a lot of lot of uh, cryptos uh, basically in a larger amount so that is where we call them as uh, whales uh, uh, so and uh, btfd by the <laughs> deep so uh, basically it's an expression that encourages uh, you to buy uh, cryptocurrency when they have a significant drop so the uh, the way it uh, you know goes up in the similar fashion it comes down as well so uh, if you if if that coin or if that token is uh, pretty interesting and uh, have a good utility around that so we basically we call it as uh, btfd so hodl so basically um so whatever the investment you have made so maintain that so do not uh, get rid of that investment so basically it is miss spelled and uh, you know it, it, it's spelled I mean misspelled or it, it's spelled for a uh, wrong purpose uh, which is happening on bitcointalk.org but uh, 
uh, the post went so viral so we go ahead and uh, purposely we do not say or who are into this crypto world do not say h-o-l-d they will say h-o-d-l <laughs> so um now weak hands so basically who are very uh, not able to handle these uh, ups or downs basically and uh, during the shakeout or uh, these people are the first person who basically sell out their uh, uh, cryptos uh, and i know a small drop they basically go ahead and uh, um uh basically sell their uh, uh holding uh, so that way we call it as uh, uh weak hands and now bag holder <laughs> so that is basically if you are a uh, person who buys and hold uh, cryptos in large quantities for a you know thinking that that will make profit in the future so if you are having a lot of cryptos and uh, if you are holding um, although their uh, prices you know mm, you know uh, completely at down uh, that time we call it them as a bag holder so basically we do not want to be the bag holder but uh, the way how the cryptocurrency works so are uh, the uh, cryptos uh, you know market is so sometimes you become <laughs> a bag holder last but not the least moon boys so uh, basically whenever uh, you know someone is owning that crypto or owning that token and wants to be in 100x or 200x or whatever the x it would be so every day night and 24 cross 7 he talks about that and uh, how cool it is and uh, make sure the project reaches uh, to you know all time high so we call them as uh, moon boys who basically uh you know talks day and night every time about that uh, crypto and uh, yes crypto is very very addictive and uh, because due to the enormous uh, you know uh returns they basically give at the same time they provide uh, they give the similar uh, down trained version as well so uh, please invest uh, responsibly and uh, yep i think if you have uh, you know liking and getting started with the crypto i think these are the points or these are the vocabularies basically you will uh, you know listen more and uh, you know get a uh, constant uh, towards it so yep uh, that's it that's it from my side and uh, next week we will see with a new uh, uh, chapter uh, probably uh, i may cover something for our indian audience where uh, um, uh, so many people have asked me about how to uh, get into these uh, cryptos and uh, what are the big exchanges we have so i may cover uh, something around that so till then uh, bye bye take care uh, and stay safe subscribe